All right, guys, good morning. It's Mike Green Outdoors. And I'm at San Hollow this morning. Left early from Cedar City and thought I'd hit San Hollow today until about noon. And uh, we'll see if we can catch some large mounts. So come along with us and we'll see you on the water. This guy doesn't quite feel as big. I'm getting this guy on the Ned Rig too. So both of them so far. Oh, this is. Oh, it's another nice largey. Little guy. We'll take him though. them both on this little this little craw and head rig I'm trying to remember what the name of this of that color is I think it's molting craw is what the color is but it's my favorite color for for uh, spring and fall although this really is not fall weather still We'll take it. I'll link that head rig. I'll link it below in the description. The one that I use. It's a pretty consistent color. That's kind of my go-to for whenever I fish a head rig. But especially in the spring and the fall. And I'm fishing on this light rod. So good action. Little one. Probably a bluegill. No, it's a little teeny bass.
little teeny guy. But it still counts. So I'll take it. Still counts. I'm tempted to switch to uh, to something a little bigger, but you know, so far I've caught three different sizes of bass. First one being the biggest, and that was a good sized bass. Second was medium, and th the third one was a little smaller. So I guess while they keep biting, I'll keep uh, I'll keep this Ned rig out here and see see what I can get fishing with this TFO uh, lightweight rod so you know super sensitive uh, it doesn't have as much backbone it's got great backbone for a light rod but not as much as I'm used to fishing with so it's a little different setting the hook and I've got straight carbon floral, uh, floral carbon on this rod I don't have a braid and I'm almost always fishing braids so it's a little different setup, but obviously working. I've got another one on here. I think I've just got little ones that are going after it. And that is where my GoPro decided to overheat, which is really frustrating, partly because I've actually never had one overheat when it's running with no battery inside and just external uh, power, which is, I'm, I usually run this. Um, I've had them overheat when I have the battery in it and certainly overheat when I have the battery in it and it's plugged into external power, but I've never had one overheat when I'm just doing external power, no battery inside. Um, I was in St. George. It was a hot day, full Sunday, but not a middle of the summer day. It was probably 90 degrees. So very frustrating. Um, I've got a lot of money wrapped up in GoPros, and so you know it's it's hard to walk away from that investment and go to DJI, like a lot of other uh, creators have done. Um, but I guess I have to live with it. So, anyways, uh, caught a few other fish, said some choice words to the GoPro that I'm glad I did not get recorded, and I uh, had a great day. So. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you might want to check out some of my other videos on uh, the channel, uh, fishing related mostly. Uh, I've got some other videos on there about the homestead here in Cedar City, but uh, primarily it's my fishing videos uh, that you're probably here watching. So you may want to check those out based here in Southern Utah. So thank you so much for all of you that watch and comment. I've made a lot of great uh, connections and friends here on YouTube, and I really appreciate it, and I enjoy your content as well. And with that, we'll see you on the next video.